Okay, let's ride it. Sounds like you have a semi-automatic rifle right now. We can try. Worst case, I fall and break my head. Good morning, everyone. Hope you're having an amazing day. Welcome to yet another day in those adventures of photography. Today we are going to be hitting a few different spots. I'm not exactly sure which one. The first one was this one, but we are a little bit late. The light is super harsh. I'm still gonna try to get a few shots and show you, but you'll see and understand really quickly why being at the right time is so, so, so important. That said, once you scout a location, it's good because you can come back to it later. How does it look? As crazy really cool. as in real life. Wow, so good. Look at that. It's Absolutely insane. All right, so I met had the idea of taking a few uh, portraits of uh, Chelsea with that grass, which looks epic. And Chelsea thought maybe I can I can just rent a horse for the shoot, but it doesn't want to cross the street. Oh wait, Chelsea, can you pass in the light again? Ready? Yep. It looks like I is gonna shoot in that direction, and I'm actually gonna try to shoot in the other direction, either at 7200 or with the 1635, should be pretty cool too. You see, her head is on the patch of light right now, but if I move a little bit to the right, her head's gonna be on the patch of dark, which is going to be a little better, but then I might not have the angle I wanted. I'm gonna move a little bit to the right because then it stands out better. Here we go, let's try again. Boom. I'm sure they had really high ISO, by the way, because I have the ND filter on for the video. I'm gonna move a little bit to the right. I'm gonna try to also like get the B-roll inside the grass when she's moving. I think it's gonna look good. Let's try at 7200. As well, just to see. 7200 zero. What lens are you using? I'm at 50. The light is pretty cool. Can you look at the sun? Perfect. All right, guys. So we got some pretty epic shots. Uh, Emmett got shots of uh, Chelsea at 51.4 with that light ray coming in. It should look really good. I got a few with the background with the mountain. I was really trying to keep Chelsea to spot, uh, stand out in the photos. And now we're gonna go. There is a horse that finally made it for Chelsea. It's Can made it in the patch of light. Yay! Hopefully it's gonna be good, but. I've lost my sandals in the process of <laughs> the excitement. So let's look for the sandals. Here. Oh, you got them? Yep, for sale. One dollar. Anyone? I will purchase. Your own sandal. <laughs> Can you kick them over? Let's go for the next photo. Oh, that looks good. I feel like... So I'm really trying to have the tree stand out, meaning touching nothing and have Chelsea over there. Um, what if you go in front of him and you so your face is lit up? I don't know if he will let you. I'm holding the polarizing filter right now because uh, it doesn't fit, it's an 82 millimeter, which is a little bit wide. So you see the tree is like popping out of her head, so we need to move a little bit to the right. I don't know if you guys can see anything, but here we go. Yep, perfect. <sighs> wow, there's like a million mosquitoes on me. Let's see what we have here. Oh, that's cool. That's super cool, I love that. Okay, let's ride it. <laughs> Worst idea ever. <laughs> Emmett brought the other lens. <laughs> Let me try to get like super close up. Right, let's see. Oops. Sorry, buddy. I know it's pretty loud. Cool. Looks great. I do prefer that one though. I'm shooting at a little higher angle, which is really cool. Which is what I was doing over there because then you get her just on that patch and then the mountain stands out. That was fun and a little unexpected. So uh, yeah, always stay open to opportunities to take photos, even though you think the light is not right and stuff like that. Are you happy with your shots, Ahmed? I think so. They're pretty contrasty 
in one picture profile and then in another picture profile they're they look fine. So I think when you import them into Lightroom it's just gonna go all contrasty so it'll be interesting. What are you gonna shoot with and what are you gonna shoot? 2470 f2.8 with a polarizer on it. We have this cooler that's empty and we've been carrying it everywhere. I carry it all the way from Vancouver. And if you guys remember, Emmett and Chelsea did a video last, when, last year? No, this January. This January mm -hmm. um, in Borneo for Corona around like free diving. It was beautiful. Now there is round two coming up for Emmett, so it should be pretty fun. I'm gonna have some fun. I'm gonna try to shoot that too. Just for fun. Oh my god. They're like bright orange in the background. It's like no. Alright, so I think I'm gonna go all the way to 200 to get it. Oh god, my butt just got wet. Alright, 200. Oh, I can't see anything. Oh, I've got Emmett in the shot. I almost want to do street photography of, <laughs> of behind the scene from those two. It's kind of hilarious. Like, oh, what are you doing? Oh, I love this photo. Oh, look at that one. No, I think my hair is like wrong on the right. Mm, this one, the splash is not perfect. Oh, look at that background. It's so satisfying. So we've been editing the whole time right now today like from this morning shoot until now and we're gonna go for sunset shoot there's like funny palm tree that's super Instagrammable if you can say so and we're gonna go shoot that uh, Emmett's got a dope screensaver with the wheel it looks so clean you were pretty close to that one I edited about like 170 photos just now like over the last two hours and I still have about eh, a thousand to edit but not uh, all of them will be edited, obviously. But I have to go through them, so it's gonna be a lot of work, but let's go shoot first, because that's a lot more fun. All right, so we made it to kind of the spot. I'm gonna be shooting with a 24 millimeter right now and uh, there's this palm tree over there that looks pretty really good and <laughs> look at that crazy yacht so fun fact it is actually Sergis, which is google's co-founder's yacht and he has another boat which is almost that size just to supply that boat and how much is the boat i'm at 80 million dollars 80 million dollars <laughs> there we go it would be good to sh go shoot on it just go swim to the, to the guys and be like, yo, photo shoot for the crew. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Emmett's gonna shoot with his housing in the 1DX. I'm gonna be on that. Hopefully I don't fall in the water. All right, so here's how we're gonna shoot it, guys. Just gonna walk on it, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Sounds like you have a semi-automatic rifle right now. Listen to that one DX sound, guys. <laughs> yeah, so right there. You sound like a kid you next sound, to this you sound guy. like a toy. I know, right? It's like... Bloop, bloop. All right, let's try to get it differently. Oh, I like that. I like this. All right, camera in the water. Don't put the camera in the water. Oh, it touched the water. Poof, little sun flare, boom. We're gonna get a sun star. There we go. Can I say hi to Emmett? Yeah, okay. He doesn't have a GoPro on his chest, so he doesn't understand why I'm a little cuckoo. 
talking to myself. Perfect, I'll put my bikini and you guys shoot me. <laughs> that tree looks really good and it's actually easy to get a good shot here. Uh, you just gotta follow the line of the tree. What happened? What had to happen, happened. This could have ended really badly, but it didn't. All right, so there is a last shot I have in mind, which is just in the U shape of the bay. There's a dead tree that's like right in the center. And so I'm probably gonna have Chelsea, if you don't mind, like standing on the dead tree. And then we're gonna go eat because everyone's starving. Pizza, so, pizza. Ah, so peaceful, except when I block. I kind of wanted to have the whole bay as a U-shape in the shot, but I don't know if it's gonna work. It's actually a lot wider than I thought in my mind. So um, let's see, what do you guys think? This is kind of the idea right there. All right, so it ish worked, ish worked. You guys can let me know what you think. We're gonna eat, see you in the next one.